15. Jack Black, Now You Know Facts Jack Black was born with the name Thomas Jacob Black on August 28, 1969. Jack Black has a history of charitable giving with one highlight being a trip to Uganda for Red Nose Day. That changed his life, saying he couldn't help but think of his own children. He starred in an Atari commercial. Black's first television credit is a commercial for the Atari game Pitfall. Jack was just 13 years old at the time of the commercial. Jack Black did not play guitar until he was 23. From food fighters to foo fighters, Black convinced future bandmate Kyle Goss to teach him guitar in exchange for meals from Jack in the Box. One of Jack Black's earliest TV appearances was on Mr. Show. True, Mr. Show fans may already know this one, but a young Jack Black appears in a few episodes of the first season, showcasing his thunderous voice for all to hear. Black is a member of the Frat Pack, a group of comedic actors that controlled the early 2000s. He's nervous about talk show appearances, Black said in an interview with People. You don't have to be smart, but you have to have something. There's a lot of pressure. I start trying to think something up to say about a month in advance. He was a troubled youth. At the age of 14, Jack got mixed up with the wrong crowd and ended up with a severe cocaine addiction. Tenacious D's first on-screen appearance was in Biodome. Believe it or not, there is something redeeming about Polly Shore's Biodome. Tenacious D made their first on-screen appearance as a band in a scene at the college squad. Jared Hess was the mastermind behind Nacho Libre's quips. Jack Black has often said that Jared Hess, who directed Nacho Libre, would tell him exactly how to say the lines in the film. He attended UCLA for two years to please his father but eventually dropped out to pursue acting full-time. His parents were satellite engineers. While Black may be a comedic genius, his parents were genius geniuses. Both of Black's parents were NASA satellite engineers. Black gashed his eye open on Nacho Libre. He ended up with a large gash above his eye after diving from the ring in Nacho Libre. Black's top five albums are Radiohead, The Bends, Liz Fair, Exile in Guyville, Devo, Freedom of Choice, Black about we sold our souls for rock and roll and the pixies surfer rosa who knew this guy was so into rock and roll jack black is responsible for led zeppelin in school of rock in order to get led zeppelin to allow school of rock to use their music jack black sent them a plea video in front of the entire audience of the battle of the band scene begging the band to convince them the band was tickled pink by the video and allowed the film to use their tracks subscribe to our channel for the latest on your favorite celebrities like comment and share and don't forget to press the bell icon for notifications.